Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We are playing the Planetary Supremacy mode, at least the current version of it, as the Necrons here. So making a bit of progress. Our army's up to uh, 1,700 points total. We built the army last time um, after we grabbed the other territory. So we took the action for that. We've got one action left, so we're just going to grab this spot, which will give me, two, which will give me 200 points. Um, so I get me up to 1,900 points. Um, the Marines failed to grab an objective here, so they actually got pretty trashed and wiped out. So what I'm thinking about doing is heading that way, but it sort of depends on what happens on the next turn. Anyway, we're going to quickly grab this. It's 200 points. We're going to have to fight a thousand points of Sorortas, which actually is a bit more of a problem than it might seem, because they are so cheap. There's just massive, massive numbers of them. But I think with the new army we have, we can take them out. I did get a lot of sort of heavy hitting units, which aren't really like swarm killers. But we have uh, quite a few regular warrior units added. The Overlord that we've got can spawn more warriors. We've got immortals, you know, so we have some decent firepower. I'm hoping it'll be enough. And I'm hoping that one of the other two factions, if not both of them, screw up again, wiping out their armies. They can just take an action, though, to rebuild, so it's not like a huge deal if they do that, unless I'm right next to them already. Okay, we'll see what kind of map we get here, hopefully, if it loads. We've had a few different ones, uh, kind of a rocky area, and then one with a lot of tents. It's kind of open, so we'll see if... Um, there's different terrain and stuff. It's supposed to be different maps um, from the basic campaign and from the skirmishes. So, I mean, it could be variations of them. Okay, that's very th thick and rocky. All right. Yeah, this map, uh, apparently we don't like it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is. This map is awful for uh, performance. Okay, well, what are we going to do here? We want to stick together. There's some openings. Where are there openings forward? Not many. I mean, there's open spot there. Open spots. Once we get further in here, though... Yeah, the frame rate on this is awful. I don't know if it's the map or what. It could just be the, the huge number of Sorotas that are <laughs> going to be facing us because they are so cheap. Um, I might want to pivot out left. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to put the Annihilation Barge here. We're going to put you out to the flank. We're going to just throw warriors forward. Find all my warriors. That's death marks. That's death marks. So we've got the regular flares, so we have three immortals now, I think. Yeah, how do I want to move up here? I do want to keep everybody fairly close together. Just to maximize firepower. Um, you guys, we'll put out there for now. Uh... Praetorians, central for now. Hexmark. Yeah, we're just going to kind of throw something together here and just see how it works as we progress in. Alright, please don't crash. My empire awakens. Okay. Zoom in here. Is that any better? Yeah, it's still really funny. I think it's the map. It really does not like this map at all. It's a nice view of our destroyer there. Okay, so we are going to spread out and look for enemies. Wow, that's really disorienting. Sorry for that. Okay, so we've got upgraded guns here, we've got upgraded guns here, we've got upgraded guns here, we've got the basic weapons on my warriors, we've got the basic weapons on the immortals, um, we've got Triarch Praetorians are kind of assault units, and we've got our Overlord. Alright, 
Let's just look around and see what we can do. At this point, we can kind of run around and do whatever. Yeah, this is a huge map. Like, it's even bigger than it looks because we can kind of scroll down in it. Alright, I'm going to head... Let's go, like, wide here. I'm not going to spot anything this early. Yeah, the frame rate on this is... I mean, everything's being really funny. It's, I think, the map. But it could also be just the sheer number of Sorotas that are on the field at this point. Um, um, you guys are not super fast. Right. So the Annihilation Barge can just kind of cruise up the center, I guess. We don't have a lot of close combat units anymore. We have some guys who can fight close up, and my Overlord's really the only one that can only close combat. So if we can get out to maybe this area, it's a little better. But that's pretty far for us to move, considering we're, you know, slow. Yeah, I really don't like that positioning much. You have targets. Yeah, actually, you can keep up. I seek a favorable position. Run on up there. Yeah, if I can get out to, like, here, we've got a bit of an op more open space, it looks like. Yeah, if we can get up to around this line, then we can try to take advantage of this spot to do most of the fighting in. But this is really congested, actually. Artillery. Setting position. Just gonna take off wherever we can. Basically, we need to march and head on in. So I'm just gonna throw units forward wherever I can, essentially, at this point. Just to try to get where we need to go. I could go ahead and fly somewhere with the Praetorians. I think what I'm going to do here is we're just going to spawn another warrior unit. Awaken! The age of Necrons is nigh! So the longer it takes before we encounter the enemy, the more Necrons we'll have. Although you came in with the crappy weapons, or did you? No, you have regular Goss players. Okay. There's the really short-range weapons, and then these, and so I prefer these over the super short-range weapons. Even though they do less damage, I'd rather have the range. Okay, Immortals. Progressing. There's no point overwatching, so whatever... Heavy fire support. The squad... Uh, take the rock, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Oh, it's the cooldown of us every two. So we can get extra movement and we can fly. Yeah, let's just go cruising off over here. Essentially my assault. So they've got short-range weapons, but also can do a pretty good job close combat. So shooting, armor-piercing is four, short-range, close-up, armor-piercing five, decent damage. We agree. Yeah, just stay in the rocks, that's fine. Our targets wait! Split off the snipers here. Tracking target! So it's actually first to get 80 points worth of kills. So you guys still have an action. I mean, just because we'll overwatch. Overwatch! Overall, my units are fairly slow. So that's something to kind of keep in mind as we advance. 
But I'm hoping I can make it to that bit more open area. Um, we might have to do a fighting retreat once we get there, just depending on how much firepower we encounter. There can be a lot of just basic units and Seraphim and stuff. Jumping around, causing problems. Hiding will not help them. Can't really tell how far up that is. Hiding will not help them. Hiding will not help them. Okay, continue moving up and see if we can find some Sorotas to tear the skin off of or whatever. If we can get... Yeah, we've got to get pretty far out here to really be in an okay spot. I think you can actually go further. Yeah. Go to there, and then we'll drop an overwatch. We might start running into stuff here next turn, I would think. Optimal 2, I'm going to go to yeah, 3. We'll pass unseen. Bring the Annihilation Barge up and drop an Overwatch. So that's the free one at 5. This one's Optimal 4. Annihilation waits for them. Do the same thing. Alright. <clears throat> that's far enough back. We're just going to run them in. Guys, we might as well overwatch because of nothing else to do. I don't know that we're going to make contact this turn. Uh, Optimus 3. Go 1 for 3. It's not even responding when I click on stuff sometimes, so... This map is definitely a bit of a problem. Okay, you guys... Where can we get to? Anywhere? Our judgment will be swift. Yeah, they look so funny when they move. Uh, what's our range on this, anyway? Optimals 2? We will hold. Guys, we could set up a long range shot here potentially. What's your optimal on this anyway? Six? Alright. Barrage set. So we have that. The tomb blades. We've got evasion. We've got ignoring cover. I don't want to move up too far. Already on our way. So I may just stay here. What's our range? Optimal four. Go out to five there, just to look. These warriors we're gonna run because they're a little far back. Immortals awaiting command. Uh, we're gonna swing around. Tracking target. Yeah, so we're dropping a few overwatches out front. I don't know if we're gonna make contact. Um, we're a little spread out here too, so it's a bit of a mess. What? Don't have much I can do. We could teleport up um, and then move. But we'll save the teleport, I think. An endless march. So we've got like a three turn cooldown on summoning units. We currently are giving people some bonuses. I think we're doing uh, ranged armor. Check. Yeah, movement and ranged armor. Just gonna move them in. 
Who is next on the list? I want the death marks to Overwatch. I guess we could. It's going to be really bad. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not very effective spot. So we're just going to move in. Heavy fire support. Yeah, I'm basically just trying to run all out to kind of make it to about here-ish, where we actually are going to have an open area to potentially encounter and kill the enemy. Got actions left here, but I can't do anything with them, really. I could move up, I guess. An endless march. Let's see if we spot anything. Once we do encounter them, I only have to kill like 80 points worth of units uh, to count it as a victory. So if we just focus on killing units, hopefully it won't be too bad. Hiding will not help them. So they're right on the edge of my vision. Oh, there's Sister Superior. Creeping around out there. Yeah, they're in that big open area right now, so it's a little bit late for me to get out there and do much. Alright, you're actually right in front of me, aren't you? Okay. Well. Start moving the warriors up and see what we can spot. What's my optimal range with these? Three. So, I mean, we're a bit far away, but I don't have other shots. It's 48%. Go ahead and take it. Okay. Some damage. Got you there. See what else we can bring in. I do have movement here, so I might want to wait and see if I need to jump on something last to kill it. <laughs> Main gun here is a four. Come in and see. Okay. So if I fire the big gun at you. Firing. Okay, survived because we missed. Uh, how far are you? One, two, three, four, five. If we move up one, I can nail you with my other. Yeah. This might arc. We're taking fire! Tiny bit. We're taking fire! Unfortunately, damage to the sisters gives them extra momentum. So I'm actually going to back off here a little bit. Try to bring other people in through the gap that we've got. What do we have? Basic warriors. I can actually get you out front. Okay, let's do that. They could probably kill off sister. Could take some shots further in. Let's just see what we can kill her. My faith is my shield. Okay. Nuked. So we've got them as expendable meat shields for this. Can't summon anything yet. can't get over here to the side, unfortunately. Try to set up some overwatches where I can. Go out to, like, range four with an overwatch. I could just teleport somewhere, uh, maybe up into here. 
That's not the worst idea in the world. Let's go I there. Walk between realities. So we'll give a benefit to the people up front. I'm in pretty good cover, and if anybody comes around the side, we can do some damage. I'm not sure if I want to be here or here. Here, I'm a bit more protected. Progressing. Four is not great. So that's four. I'm going to go up to range five Overwatch. Overwatch. A little bit further distance. Death marks, Immortals. Set up more Immortal Overwatches here. We'll go out to range five. The Death marks, I'm going to wait and see what we can do with them. You can just take this gap. Set some overwatches randomly. Uh, death marks. Yeah, we're kind of wide here with you guys. Overwatch. Just gonna overwatch because well, they could be jumping in at us at various different places. Not sure about pushing this up on the flank. I might go like wide, but I don't know about moving in just straight. I'm gonna bring. Hmm. We could put the snipers there. Immortals awaiting command. Yeah, hard to say. What do I want to do here? Let's just take this. Our optimal two. Yeah, let's cover there. I've got more enemies or more people on this side that they might try to engage. The sound of our guns will herald their death. See what I can spot. So optimal is six. Which is about here. So we'll set that up. All right, this sniper squad, we're going to go here. Six is there. This area. Do that. Watching this area. Okay, so we still have the hex mark the Tomb Blades, and then where I want to put my leader. You have targets. I mean, I could move in, grab the rock, but we're going to get shot from different directions. It makes them a really big target. A little further out, I want them to kind of come in and maybe get shot up a bit. I could advance out to here kind of out in the open, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't mind having the warriors there because they're kind of expendable, but this unit is much more of a damage dealer. I don't want to lose. Because of them being able to jump around, I don't mind having them Everything there. I'm going to move up a bit and see... Okay, that's probably the edge of their line right there. Uh, this is optimal at four. So I honestly don't have a terrible shot here. 
75. Yeah, we can take the shot and then back Attack off. Okay, not got one. The problem, though, is that if I'm damaging a lot of these units and not killing them off, they're going to have two actions on their turns, which is not good for me. Makes sense. So hit and run is what we want, preferably out to the flank. Yeah, this is a difficult spot. What do we want to do here? I could just hide over here. We could hide behind the Annihilation Barge. Yeah, actually, let's do that. We'll set, set up Overwatches forward here. Ideally, I'm at two, but I'm going to push it out to three. We've got a couple action points, so we'll potentially trigger twice. And you can stay there. So let's see if we can actually maul them as they come at me a little bit here. You might see a ton of Seraphim just charge at me. I hear them. Or if I should be if shot by something. Maneuvers. Got all kinds of shots coming in. We're missing all kinds of shots. Oh, no. It's kind of what they're for. Shields active. Hmm. Actually doing quite a bit of damage there. More than I would expect from that range, that accuracy. Keep showing. Quantum shields active. Yeah, that's mostly getting blocked. Shields active. Must be with the ones that had the uh, damage increase are actually doing some damage, whereas the others weren't doing anything there. Just the shield. Like, armor I've got is just too high for their weapons. The amount of firepower they threw at those guys to finally take them down. So that's what I need. Especially since I can make another one of those units every three turns with my leader. It's not a big deal to lose one. Uh, yeah, I can already make another one. Alright, so, uh, you're awfully close. So we might want to move in with the Hexmark Destroyer, do some damage, and then see what I can do after that. Alternatively, we start on the flank here and see what we can do. So you want to be at four. The rocks are all in the way. So that should be okay, but it's crummy because of the rocks. 56%. I'll still take the shot. Actually did pretty good. Um, but I think I'm going to back way off here and keep moving in so we can try to get into their back line. 
Hyperlogic agrees. So if they don't dispatch some units over here, I'll have a kind of way in to get to their flank and rear. So out wide. Got the range. You want to be at six. So, I mean, we have shots at weird angles. We can start moving out to the flank, too, with them. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know that I'm going to have a shot at anything, though. Probably not because of the rocks. Yeah, so we'll just set up an overwatch down this way in case they head for the tomb. Uh, two blades, that's what they are. And then we can bring them in. Okay, we have the movement here if we want to jump in with these guys. So, like, I could jump in even behind. That's awfully risky, though. I see old. I think we go in here and just light up what we can. If I can have three targets at range. So I think we commit the destroyer here. Yeah, just tons of sisters here. It's nuts. Okay, I've got movement left, so we can get some extra crit. Firing solutions optimized. We're going to shoot at three targets. We're going to hit you, and you, and you. Targets acquired. We're taking fire! Okay, so we wiped them out. Next, I probably want to focus on the Seraphim. Okay, got a couple. I've got no movement left, so we are a bit exposed. They will all die. Uh, I certainly hope so. We've got a cooldown on our weapon that hits fleshy targets, so we need to back up and shoot something. Or just move and shoot something. Go for them, maybe? Alright, not as impressive as I was hoping. Uh, this thing is pretty tough, though. So if we keep it up front, they might spend a lot of time shooting at it. Kind of head over a bit. So they are going to take a lot of attention away. We've got immortals. We've got basic warriors here. That should be optimal, right? Three. Yeah. Not a great hit chance. We'll try for it. Evasive maneuvers. A little bit of damage. Fire oh, they're still alive. Do I send my overlord in, or do I spawn another warrior unit and then send it around the side? And we have other shots we can take. So if you guys move... At the very least, you can take a shot. Okay, so that's taken care of. Warriors... Just going to advance and have them uh, you know, shoot at them is fine. Not a big deal. Heavy fire support. My empire awakens. Let's spawn another unit. Okay, I'm going to send them right in the front line. squad. I mean, we could put the Overlord up front, too. What's your armor? Six. So he actually doesn't have a massive amount. Good health, but 
Not so much armor. So I may want to keep him back for now. Uh, I'm going to put you there. So we just have firepower upon firepower. Confirmed. Death marks, death marks. We've got warriors here. Kind of out of position. Just do an overwatch on the side here. Uh, we've got crummy shots. I mean, optimally, we want to be at three, so we'll just drop a short overwatch. In case they try to jump over and stuff. Um, so you're set. We need to bring you over. shots. Overwatch here. So, snipers. Other immortals. Progressing. See if I can kill that front unit that's damaged. Okay. That's another one down. I'm tempted just to shift you guys over here and then bring them in. Since they're kind of coming straight at us. We're out of range on targets, though. So what's six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I'll push it out. It's bad overwatches, but if we can do some damage, I'll be relatively happy. You have an angle here? Yeah, out of range. Okay. Just kind of shifting them around in the back. And we'll go out. Watching this area! To there. Right. So we have the Praetorian and... I could move my Overlord in if I wanted to. The Praetorians, we can move quite effectively. Uh, they do have Overwatches set up on the flank. Nobody's really hurt for me to kind of jump in and, like, finish off. So if I do this, man, we could go way back. Yeah, I'm just going to get them moving somewhere. Or we could maybe take advantage of them later. So shooting, you want to be at range two. We will hold. So we'll just kind of have them over here, maybe draw some stuff this way. If not, if they ignore this, we can kind of start boxing them in on the flank. Overlord can't move, so we can't get through there for whatever reason. All right. I have no idea which direction I'm facing, so let's face that way. All right, let's see how bad this is. We'll probably have a lot of uh, frag grenades thrown at us if they get close. With the Overlord, I can just keep summoning basic warriors, so if we can avoid having them kill other stuff, that would be great. I don't know if it'll work, because there's just so much firepower here. Yeah, I really want the Hexmark dead, and I don't blame them. They are turning fire. So if my hex mark survives, I'm probably gonna have to run off and hide somewhere. Take some shots first and run off. But the hex mark may not even survive. 
taking fire. Mm. See if the Seraphim come jumping in here too. So we took out the front one, but there's at least one more there. Probably some more we can't see. Take it fire. Frag. Not surprising. Okay, so I'm moving out to the front. They are correct to hide. Get a few sniper shots. My pistol there alone. They've got inferno pistols. So that makes you a priority target. Thankfully, they wasted their shot on a free unit that I got with an ability. Yeah, there's just so many of them. Hold on. Yeah, they're spreading their shots a bit. Oh, my hex mark did get destroyed. That's too bad. Did finish her off. Okay, well, I know there's one out here. I could go chasing after that one with my leader. But I might need you up front, smacking them directly. Okay, on this side. So I've got this one back. So if I can shift out somewhere... Let's do it. Okay, just nuked a couple of them. We've got the backup gun. At this point, it's 53, so we can actually go one further away, and it should be better. And this might arc around. Let's see what we can do. We're taking fire! Okay, spread some damage around, got a command point. Uh, this isn't a bad spot. So I don't mind being stuck there. So we'll just see what we can do about trying to get in on the flank and finishing units off. We could send in the Praetorians, but I feel like that's going to get them killed. Definitely need to kill the Seraphim, but they might be hard to hit with the evasion. So, what can we do about that? I think that's optimal there. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 47 isn't great. We're gonna mark them. Mark set! They will not escape. Gets us up to 68. Take the shot. Okay, just softened him up a bit. Who is next on the list? Let's see, they can hit the same target, I think. Chances are bad, though. One, two, three, four, five. It's still six. And they are marked, but it's only 39%. Actually, have better shots other places, surprisingly. Um, let's see, how's this? 34, got a 76 there, and they're actually weak. Tell you what, let's mark them for death. Take a shot there. 
They survive too. If I can wipe out these two, which I should be able to this turn, I think we might be okay here. Your basic warriors. Immortals awaiting command. So you want to get back. Progressing. So we'll take. Wow, that's really bad. 46. That's optimal range, but the chance to hit's really bad because they're evasion. Do I bother doing it? Is the question. Um, we'll try. We're gonna shoot a bunch here, so we'll see if we can land some hits. Not much. Yeah, I might send the Overlord right into them in their face. 43. That's even worse. Yeah, I've got a 67 here. I'm not sure why that's so good, because that's too past optimal. I guess it's just negative here so much because of the evasion. Do I want to soften these guys up instead? Yeah, I think we might just send the Overlord in directly, so we'll take that shot. The regular warriors can kind of take some shorter... Um, shots here and there. Let's see, we're already at three here. The chances are terrible. But we'll take it. Time a bit. Same thing. I may not even need to do this. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, I really need an undo button. Did not want you guys going there, but fine. What? Alright, I'm going to send the Overlord in here on these Seraphim. Let's see if they can evade. Yeah, they can evade. Kneel before me. Oh, okay. Took them a moment, but they did die. All right. Then let's uh, repeat that. We will endure. Okay, one survived. I'm not crazy tough, so this might be a bit risky. Take the shot there, and that should be optimal range. We're taking fire! Okay, nuked them too. So we're about half where we need to be for kills. And you're stuck out in the open. Can't teleport, I used all my actions, can't move. Heavy fire support. I don't expect them to come in, so that's an okay spot. Snipers are in an okay spot. What do we have? 44, 60. Just because they're out in the open. Take the 60. Over. Alright, here we have 63, 56. Let's see if we can pick off the guys on the end. Yep, nice. It's another one down. Alright, so we have the flank force, other than you. Our duty is tireless. I can't really get anywhere. Super fantastic. This has some cover.
shots. We only have three at a max, so not too far. We'll set it up at two with optimal in case they do head this way. We'll do something. You guys. I'd like to wipe out this other squad here. I don't want to use all my movement though. Already on our way. If the chances are bad, I might still take it. Or do we just hurt another unit? 60%? I mean, that's pretty nice. Let's do that. Ah! Spreading around damage. Makes sense. But if I can soften them up enough that we can finish them off on the other turn, we'll be alright. Alright, we got you guys way back here too, don't we? What can I see? Not much. Forty-seven, fifty-six, fifty-four. Setting position. Yeah, it's kind of 50-50 here. I guess we'll hit the squad so we can take out a few. Okay, we nuked one. That is everything. I am not super happy about my Overlord being exposed. Not really happy about my uh, Hexmark guy getting killed either. But what you gonna do? Overlord hopefully can take the firepower but everything could potentially just get thrown right at him. I could throw these guys out front as a distraction. Maybe I will do that. Let's put you up here. Just to sort of have something between me and the uh, enemy. So just bring the warriors up. Kind of try to protect my overlord here a bit. We got some good kills. So the tools are waiting for space. So I'm just going to give them other targets other than my overlord, essentially, here. And it's warriors, so if they die, it's not a big deal. You, yeah, we're going to stay there because there's a unit back there. Snipers are going to stay there. You guys moved up as much as you can, I think. No, we can actually move you in. Heavy fire support. Okay, yeah, so we're kind of putting the squeeze on him here. They're just going to gun down probably the warriors out front. Okay, or just frag grenade him, sure. <laughs> Blocking a lot of that, thankfully, with her armor. We're not impressed. <laughs> no, I may just charge forward with the Overlord. <laughs> Start chopping them down like cordwood. Oh. 
not taking much damage, thankfully. Nice. All right. Yeah, so we took a little bit of damage, got health back. So getting evasion does take an action point. All right, you know what? We're going to attack you guys at least once, see what we can do. Nearly wipe them out. I could call in the scarabs. Um, that might be enough to kill the battle sisters here. Let me see. Eradication orders confirmed. Scarabs dropped from over overflight here. Eat them. Okay, I only got one though. Last time we got two. I mean, I could go after them. That would keep them busy. But here they're kind of in the way of my overlords, so they might shoot the scarabs instead. We'll keep them here. Just go harass the. Uh, we whisper. will endure. All right, so that'll work out. We'll have to redirect some fire out there. Let's start with our warriors. Forty got a decent shot here. Let's take that. We're taking fire! Okay, that's another one down. You guys want to be at three. Okay, decent amount of damage. Immortals awaiting command. Bring the immortals up. They'd like to be at range four, so that's a perfect shot. Let's see what they can do. Okay, a couple more. And we we'll see if we can mop up here with the warriors. We're taking fire! Excellent. All right, another one down. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys behind the rock. I'm not gonna move them. We want to take shots first. Keep them out of the way for the shots. Just light up this squad that's out in the open. Firing on target. <laughs> Bring the snipers in now. I guess we do. Um, we're going to move other units over, so they're going to kind of be in the way. So we want to be about there. Seventy-nine. Nice. Took them out. Uh, I'm actually going to back off. May or may not matter. Our targets wait. All right, what are our options? 68%, 66%, 65%. They're hurt a little bit, so let's hit them. Okay, whittling them down.
Let me throw the immortals out front. Yeah, let's put you behind the rock. Progressing. Come around the flank. Yeah, let's soften up the ones behind the rock. Guys, just step forward into the gap. You guys just look the right way. So we still have some options here. And some shots. So without even moving, we've got 51, 52, that's about it. That's kind of long. Pick off a few of them, maybe? Let's try for that. Okay, two gone, just like that. Continue just kind of eating away at them here in the flank and stuff. Attack Vector True. Flank and stuff. We're taking fire. New flank and stuff hot dogs. Back off. All right, all right. So we still have the Praetorians. We still have the Annihilation Barge. I think that's it. Yeah. Looks like it. So we only have the main gun. Which, I'm not sure I can see anything from there. Got an okay line of sight here. 57. Seventy here, actually. Um, it's odd that's further out. It must be that the rock is giving some protection. Uh, hurting a unit or trying to go for the kill. I think I'm gonna... Well, I don't know. The Praetorians can go for that. Yeah, let's go out here. I'm gonna take a couple of them out, probably. So just kind of whittling them down a bit in the back. We serve the trio. And then if we send you in, like complete maniacs, you want to go close combat. See if they can finish you off. We will endure. No, not enough damage. Close. Very close. So they might get punished for that, unfortunately. Annihilation barge awaiting your directive. I'm gonna move him up just to maybe draw some fire. Heavy fire support. Artillery around in the back, so I will a little bit here. Just kind of moving up. Processing. So I'm definitely putting the squeeze on them, but we have a few units in kind of bad positions. I do have a couple units here, these three, that are very close to being destroyed. Actually, these four. Um, so if we can take them out, that's probably game. But I don't know if we're going to lose anything else beforehand. I was hoping I could get through this without losing anything, but that's pretty optimistic. But with the additional points we get, we'd probably want to rebuild, uh, like reinforce the army anyway. Okay, that was quite a bit of damage. Take it fire! Okay, 
that's going to kill the scarabs. A couple came back. All right, so I'll keep them busy a little bit longer. Okay, they're just doing a fallback attack, so we're not going to get any hits, probably. Yeah. Frag. That's too bad. Oh, this might hurt. Extra range damage. We're just going to shoot at them. They almost look like the way they move. It almost looks like they're trying to block the bolt rounds with their stabs. We did lose a warrior unit, but I'm not sure if it's one that I summoned or if it's one that I started with. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. Scarabs. Uh, see what you can do to them, because why not? It's essentially just a distraction. We'll get you out of the way. All right, so. What we want to do is kill the weak. Preferably wear their flesh as clothing. And anything else is just gravy. Um, 62. Yeah, Firing let's do that. On okay, there's one down. Should be like very close to getting everybody wiped out here. Pick you off, maybe. Okay, it's another one. One more is probably all it will take. We've got both guns ready. 58. 14 movements. 68. Fire. Go there. Yeah, just two disintegrated just like that. Secondary gun. I don't know if it'll arc to anything connected to this. I'm just going to kind of see if it'll arc back to these. Uh. Yeah, a little bit. Arc there. Arc there. Uh. Thought we might get lucky and maybe just whittle down these ones that are already nearly dead. Okay, you guys would like to snipe something, I'm sure. Setting position. Pick off you two behind the rock here. Actually, why is it so bad? 55%. Isn't that? It's right at optimal, isn't it? Yeah, they're right at the optimal six. I don't know if it's... maybe this is in the way, so at this angle it's not. So that's why we're getting up to 75 here. 72... Alright, let's just whittle down some more squads. Just instantly nuking a couple. But yeah, if we continue with this, we're just gonna slaughter Take out one more unit, and that's probably it. So I'm going to see if you can take them out. Going to head in the back a little bit. Go close combat. Is that enough to wipe you out? Oh. Yep. Now we're one point short. And... I could go flying off to get away, honestly. Um, so I could use that to sort of get around behind the enemy. Let's go here, actually. Judgment will be swift. Cutting off their escape. With authority. There's just there's no escape from my forces. 
Yeah, my overlord can go wading in and killing some stuff. We've got a variety of options what? about how I want to end this. Who is next on the list? Maybe give the snipers a few shots. Can I get closer? I can. Give them the opportunity to <laughs> take out this squad. You failed me. One survived. Our targets wait. Tracking target. I can't really get a good angle on anybody really hurt. Like fresh squads, we can hit them, but they're in full cover. Take the shot there just to see. We're taking fire! Else why not? Oh, they actually took him out. Okay. Alright, that's all it took. So we lost one warrior unit, but I'm not sure if that was one that I summoned or not. And then the Hexmark Destroyer. Is that it? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. But take a look at my point value. I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell, though. The regular warriors are 55. I don't know what the point value for the Hexmark Destroyer is off the bat, but we're going to get 200 anyway. So our next action is going to be to refill our army. So we're up to 1,900 points. So we can end the turn and just kind of see what happens. So you are probably going to expand. Oh, you're actually coming right near me. All right, we might have to deal with the Tyranids then. Okay, they failed that. Yeah, so we might want to go after the Tyranids. I'm not sure what's going to happen if we go into a, an area that was controlled by the Tyranids. Uh, if we fight Tyranids... I'm assuming it's no longer Astartes, or Adeptosaurotus. Okay, so the Marines got something done. So yeah, if I went to here... What happens if I try to claim this? 800 points. Okay. So I could do that first, and then reinforce. But it's not going to help me build anything in my army. This, yeah, it's, it's basically the same as what I just fought. So that's susceptible to get taken out. I could reinforce and just grab the center. Or we go fighting the Tyranids directly and start heading towards them because they're weak at the moment. Because I could grab this, I probably wouldn't take any losses and then reinforce. Yeah, I was totally planning to just reinforce, but um, we have such an advantage here. I can actually auto-resolve it. 100% uh, chance of overwhelming victory. So it's kind of interesting that there is a, an opportunity to auto-resolve stuff. I can kind of understand it when there's a really big point discrepancy, but it seems kind of weird when the point is to kind of get you to fight battles. Uh, out of curiosity, I'm going to auto-resolve it. Uh, but first, I want to see what my point value is. I'm at 1475. So if I take this... Okay, so they withdrew. We're still at 1475. So maybe they have an opportunity to leave. If I claim this... We could just auto-resolve that, too. And then they're stuck at like 800 points in their base. Uh, okay, let's do that. <laughs> so we've used all my actions. Uh, I'm at 1,400 out of 90, 1,900. The problem is that they're going to reinforce the 1,900 and then attack me, and I'm not sure what is going to happen then. At least I would assume that's what they're going to do. So let me hit end turn and just see what happens. So you're going to reinforce, I'm sure. Yep. Now what? Oh, okay. You're just going to try to grab more points somewhere. Okay, that's dangerous. So even though I've taken these tiles away from the Tyranids, 
they still have a pretty high max. So I, what I'll probably just do, I'll reinforce, and then I'm going to try to kill the Tyranids. They're at 1695 at the moment. If I can take out their base, they're done for. So let's reinforce. So I did lose you. So we do that. That leaves me 265. Yeah, I've only got two warriors here, so I must have lost a regular warrior. All right, so 265. I'd like another death mark. Wouldn't mind another um, Praetorian also. That's 200. Between the two of them, 65 points. We could get a regular warrior unit. Yeah, let's do that. Take you. Take you. And I can't take you for points. Yeah, just a regular unit. So it gets me the 16 total. So we've got our hex mark back. We've got some warriors. We've got three immortals three snipers, a couple of the Praetorians, and a few other units and things. All right. So at 1890, um, what we'll do is we'll, next time, I think probably, we'll try to take out the Tyranids. Um, the Marines are a little dangerous. I wonder if um, once you grab a tile that's worth points, from then on, no one else can get it. So like you still have the point value. But yeah, we'll kind of see. They might not have had enough... Um, requisition points to actually get up to the 2,000 points. But I'm still here at 19, same as the Marines. And they took the central position, so we're in potentially a bad spot if I don't take them out. So we'll come back next time and we'll try to take out the Tyranids, I think. Um, we'll see if we can just kind of crush them and that would be the end of half of the problem. Alright, this has been more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, playing around with the Planetary Supremacy mode. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.